Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I am Key. This is Key's Play of Life. This pillow irritates me. Okay. And plus, this pillow helped me hide all the things I don't want to show y'all. All right. So, everybody wanted me to do a How Did We Meet video. Why are you looking at me like that? I was just wondering if you don't want to show them why you got it on. I ain't talking about the shirt. I'm talking about the face. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't care about the shirt. You approved of the shirt. I don't care about the shirt. Um, But everybody's been wanting to know how did we meet. So I promised you guys a video. So this video is being posted on February the 14th for Valentine's Day. So I do have a couple of questions that we're going to get into later. Did you see my question when you were sitting over there? What you mean? Okay. So, one of the questions I'm going to just ask, just because we got to explain it anyway. How many questions you got? It's 25. Hold on. It's 30. Your game do not start until 530. You okay, sir? My game starts at noon. No, that's not what you said. I have to prep. No, sir, because I said that. I say, sir, they have pregame. You say, don't oh, let me watch that. We I got to do my own pregame. I'm not worried about that pregame. When you go to the store, can you just get your big pink and some wine cooler? I want to sit in the living room too and watch the game because my 49 is playing. I mean, I can pee in a jar. Okay. <laughs> well, I find a lizard to piss in a jar. Okay. Cup or something. I'm just saying. And it's the same. I feel like you holding some animosity because my 49. Okay, that's not what this is about. Hi. Okay, so how did we meet? How did we meet, babe? Wait, hold on. No animosity because I hate the Chiefs. Let's continue. I how don't did, have, do how you did have you animosity meet? in your spirit because my 49ers is going to the Super Bowl. I'm going to have animosity. So you got animosity in your spirit. I, I, that don't make no sense. Y'all are going flowers? against the Kansas hey, City Chiefs. We need to find out what flowers those are because hey, see how long they last. Where did, where, what? See how long those flowers Where did we meet? Yeah, where did we meet? On the internet. Which internet? Oh, I, I, well, I got a that book. Thing. We met on we, Beyonce's. We met on, the, we met on Beyonce's internet, but it was on Facebook. Beyonce's. That, that, the internet is Beyonce's. What the? Beyonce's I mean, internet. Sorry. That's Beyonce's internet. Why is it Beyonce's? Because it's hers. Why though? Because we said so. Y'all want everything, huh? Damn. <laughs> We met on Beyonce's internet on Facebook. And what's funny is, I think it was in my inbox a year before that or two years before Wait, that. Pause. No, but it was on some innocent stuff. It wasn't on some oh, okay. try to talk to you stuff. It was some how are you doing stuff. No. What was it? It was a happy birthday. Oh, it, it was? was on, it was on your, like, one of your pictures in your... See, that's, what that's what's wrong with y'all. No, because I could go back because I got all That's what pictures. it is. Okay. It was on a picture... This last or video, and I said happy birthday on it. Okay. So when I put in, it goes into your inbox. And I think I said thank you, and after that we didn't communicate um, at all after that. I mean, we would like each other's posts and stuff, but it was no communication. Yeah, I was liking your stuff because I related to it. Yeah. So I think um, I have my I have my all right. I mean, if we been. Transparent. I was doing other shit, and I was. I had my, I had me a little mama or whatever. I don't know what I was doing. I just, Two years ago, I was engaged. Two years ago, I was engaged. Yes, I was engaged two years ago. I think, Cause I think you say you seen that and you didn't want to be disrespectful or nothing. Well, I had my own thing going, so uh, I think when I even when I said happy birthday, you was just getting out of it, or. I think that's what it was. I either was getting out of it or something. Okay, so we didn't talk. To, we didn't have any type of communication like outside of just liking each other's posts and stuff until um, two years later. And hold on, because I feel like it's more on my side than it is on your side. And then I feel like I say I was scrolling Facebook, and I think it was like I think you had already. Previously, you had posted that video that day or, or or a certain part of the day, but I didn't see the video. No, it was, it was a live because nah, I was, was watching it live. I think it was nah. Uh, I think it was a video. It was a video. 
It was a video, but I think it was a live really video. Nah. Because I don't, I don't do live like that. So, it was a video that I had posted. It was dark, so it probably it was, was dark. six or seven. So I was up at three in the morning posting, I mean, watching this video because I was scrolling the internet because I couldn't sleep. I had this habit of waking up in the middle of the night not being able to sleep. And I was up, so I was scrolling it and I seen it and I was listening to it. And I was like, okay, he's saying some real stuff. Um, I was looking off to the side. Different days. I got excuses. I was liking what he was saying because he was speaking facts. Um, and they, I got a lot of inboxes just for y'all that's watching too. I, you know, you know my middle name, super petty oh, with a cape God. on. Because yes, <laughs> they told me that was it. You need to take this down. You're doing too much. And I, and then when I had posted, Kevin Samuelson wasn't popping like this. Mm -mm. But I was saying that same. Kendra G, they all doing their thing. But I was saying the same damn thing, and they was telling me I'm doing too much. Now look at what too much got me. So I read, I was listening to the video, and I hit him up in his inbox, and I was like, "You really spoke truth on that video, cause he did." So he hit me back, and he was like, "Thank you," and that was it, y'all. I'm like, "Thank you." So I was, and then I, I think I said something else. I got all the messages in my DM because I still keep them DMs to this day, but I don't want to have to scroll because that's a lot of scrolling because if y'all knew how much reason I don't be saying we text each other every day, it would be crazy. So we, we, I think uh, he said thank you and we had short conversation and we was pretty much talking about the video. And then after that, I was like, well, if you ever want to have a, you know, conversation, you can message me or whatever. So he was like, okay. But I'm like, okay, this dude ain't asked me for my number. Why he ain't asked me for my number? So I think I shot you my number. Because you still hadn't asked me for my number. So I shot him my number. And when I shot him my number, he didn't respond for a whole damn day. It was a whole day. It was a whole, I feel like it was a whole 24 hours. No, wait. It I wasn't think you, I think it's 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 a gap that you missed before you gave me the number. What? We talked a few we talked a little bit on in, in messaging. I know, that's what we was talking at. Hold on. You ain't got to... I Cause I keep everything. Hold well, on. Well then all you gotta do you need to remember. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so Dang, we be, we be messaging the hell out of And it's just DMs. This ain't even our text messages. So that show you how much we... Oh, my freaking God. I don't know. It was two years ago. Oh, my God. It's in her, though. What the hell? So, anyway. Check this out. So, we had uh, talked in the inbox. She did shoot me her number. Something like that to that effect. And um, I think I was just, just like two days before, like cutting everybody off, all my little um, thing things. And uh, this one chick that I had been talking to, because I'm acknowledged that fact, because it's a real thing, you know, I was done. And it was a couple of days later, or oh, that was before when we met, and then. We had started talking. You shot me your number. Okay, so that was June the 15th of 2022. And then you shot me your number, what, June 23rd or something? I shot you my number June the 15th at 5.54 a.m. Damn, that was quick. You, I don't think you were, boy, you didn't respond to me too. Hold on. I think he responded to me two or three days later. Cause the next message I because the next message I got from you is July the fourth on DM. And we was dating by then. Well no we wasn't. We was talking. No, we was dating. No, we was talking. No, because we made it official June the, July the fifteenth. Something like that. Yeah. No, or did we meet July the fifteenth? I know we didn't meet in June. We didn't meet in June. Yes. Okay, no. We met in April. April 25th is when you... when you. When I'm talking about physically. 
We we met in June the fifteenth. Yes, we did. No, we did. I swear to God. Yes, we did. Hold on, I lie. You right? Because I texted you June the fifteenth at five fifty four and said, "Here's my number. Feel free to text or call me whenever." And then it's like two. It's like two or three days later. So it was damn near. It was like the twenty third when we actually yeah. met physically. And what's crazy is. We kept trying to schedule dates and it just wasn't working out. I kept canceling on purpose. Yeah, it just wasn't working out. So I was kind of like, well, you canceled a couple of times though, but it was probably because I wanted, I was, I had dealt with that and I didn't want to like overlap. And at the time I wasn't dating nobody. I had, I had, well, I was dealing with one person, but I wasn't really dealing with them. Meaning that I wasn't dealing with them. I was dealing with her, but... I was... It was. It had got to the point that when he called, I would be like, no, I'm good. I'm chilling. But it wasn't my boyfriend. So when I say I was dealing with somebody, it was somebody that I would just chill with. It wasn't my boyfriend because I was not doing boyfriends at the time. I was on some self-reflection, finding me, trying to get me together, trying to do my homework on myself type of thing. I ain't know. You cannot use I that word. Say, say the D. The D or something. Man, I see videos all the time. D, but they will, they will do. I got to bleep him out. Okay. So, she bleeped out the word that I actually said just now. <laughs> and I'm going to start it and say it again. slang a lang lang Okay. Got me into a relationship. I was slanging that thing. And I woke up one morning and... Uh, she said some things that made me believe that we was in a relationship. Not me. Now, I'm going to be honest, though. At that point in time, it was a little comfortable situation, so I might have kept it a little going longer than I should have. <laughs> but I had reached the point, and I was done. So we didn't physically meet until that was already... Because I wasn't on that type of time. Yeah, and I had pretty much kind of strayed away from old boy. I wasn't... Like chilling with him no more, seeing him no more. I was it was basically go to work, come home, go to work, come home. That was my whole little thing. So we started talking and we weren't talking on the phone. We were doing more texting than anything. So and because both of us work during the day. So and by the time you get home, you're tired. So you really don't want to hold no phone. You didn't have to communicate with people all day. Yeah. That's just a lot. So we would text each other and that's really how we got to know like each other because we were texting each other and we we were asking like questions that that some of y'all don't be asking when y'all meet people and I'm not gonna get on that y'all I'm thinking about doing a podcast because <laughs> y'all 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 be how much I don't feel safe with no man and then y'all okay so we started communicating. And we decided to have, because if I get into that, this is going to be That's a longer a video than it's supposed track. to be. Cause like, I'm going to have my, my thing say, and they ain't not going to like that. Exactly. So, we thinking about doing a podcast, so y'all have to check us out if we decide to do that. We'll announce it if we decide to do that. But, we were communicating back and forth. We were getting to know each other, and then we finally scheduled a date. After... Two cancellations of a day. I had decided that okay, y'all probably like y'all cancel days twice. I would have talked to the reps, but it was just something about him. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna give up on him just yet. Like, I really like him. I even through text the conversation would flow, and it wasn't it wouldn't be one of those short answer conversations. It wasn't yeah or no. Like there was it was a real conversation. So, I say on the, that's when you came over. July the 15th is when you came over. Because we had, that was still a cancellation technically. Yeah, because he had said. I broke them bitch. Yeah. She, now, uh, I said it in a, a, a different way though. <laughs> yeah, he said, I really don't have it right now and I want to take you out on a, a proper date. So we can really, really get to know each other. And I'm like, we don't have to go spend no money. I can cook. Which was different for me. Because if you know me and you my partner, then you know that I do not allow no man in my house. But there are two reasons why he got to come to my house. 
one, my kids was gone. My son was at his dad's for the weekend. My daughter was at her boyfriend's. There was no children in my house, number one. Number two, I keep... If he would have tried my life, I would have shot would've, him. She would have been shot because I got a hot with carrying pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Him. But we don't need to be airing that out anyway. I'm but, but, um, so I think he didn't feel comfortable coming over there. No. But it was like, I'm a cook. We can sit in the living room, have a conversation or whatever. And normally I am very weary about people being in my home because that's my space. That's my quiet. That's, that's my, that's where I find peace. That's my peaceful place. So if I let you enter it, then it's something about you that allows me to let you in my space. Because everybody, even a lot of my friends ain't even been in my space because it's my space. So he finally decided that, I don't know what made him decide it was cool that he would go ahead and come over, but he decided to come over. Hold on, time out. Okay. Because I got to give a proper perspective. From from cause some of y'all women be like, oh I know why he decided to come over. He thought he was gonna get something. Let's get something straight. That does not move me. It don't. Yeah, she's one person that does. That don't move me. I decided to come over. Now I'm coming down from where I'm from. So it took me a little bit to get here. A long time. But it actually didn't take that long. It's not that long. I pulled over down the street at the Shell Station and <laughs> contemplated like, uh, like going over people's house. You know that ain't my, that ain't my thing. I'm usually like, nah, I don't want to go over your house. So I had to go and make a little call and spin the block because I'm kind of from this area. I got a lot of family and I had to, uh, yeah, I had to get right. So. Uh, I think I sent her a couple messages you did. that was leading up to like, you know, maybe we should not meet up at the house. And I think she was like, now nah, my kids is gone to there. I would want to meet you. I can't remember what exactly what it was. And that's when I, because I had came back to the Shell Station by this time. That's when I decided, I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. Because I pull up, you can say what you want, but you in the hood. I'm like, oh man, hold up. <laughs> oh man, hold up. So when right. he pulled up, I don't think you got out the car right away. No. And I, I went to the back door, I opened the door, he came in. I gave I gave him one of them church hugs. It was a real live church hug. It was the one of them hugs from the side. Like <laughs> so I got <laughs> I gave him one of them church hugs. And then we went over to the couch and sat down and we started talking, just getting to know each other. And I'm like, okay, I really, 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 really like him. Like, yeah, I like him. And I feel like after we talked, I think we, I think we talked for hours. Yep. Like hours, hours, hours. And you have to understand, this is from coming from a girl that has never been in love with nobody. I have loved, and you probably go, you've been married. I know. You can love somebody and not be in love with them. And if y'all don't know the difference today, I don't know what to tell you. I have loved people, but I've never been in love with people. Because I've always had this thing that you'll never get that close. I can love you, and you can hurt me, and I can move on. But if I'm in love with you, and you hurt me, it's a possibility that things can go a whole lot different for you. Because I love you that much. And I had seen some of my homegirls be in love with men. And when it don't work out, they be traumatized. And they be ready to hurt, harm themselves or do things to themselves. And I'm like, I'm not going to go through that. Ain't no man going to have that much power over me. That where I don't want to go on in life no more. I'm just not going to do it. Y'all ain't peep the bird man hand roll what she was saying. <laughs> so... I was sitting there just talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. And before you knew it, time had flew by. It, it went from daytime to nighttime. And I was like, am I? Do, this kind of... I was like, do this what being in love with somebody feel like? Because like, cause I found myself at first, I was so far away from him on the couch. 
And then I found myself getting closer to him on the couch talking. And then after a while, what really made me like see like, okay, I really like him is because it got dark. And he was like, let me get out of here. And I fixed his plate and stuff. And um, so I'm going to take a play with him. And he gave me one of those hugs that felt like home. It was like, it just felt good. And it felt... I don't even know how to describe it. It just felt different. And then it was one of those kisses that it was like, oh, I could do this for the rest of my life. And it just felt like amazingly different, amazingly good from anything I've ever experienced. And I was like, okay, he might be the one. I, I knew I figured he was the one because I called my girls. And one of my girls, she know me. And I was talking to her about him, telling her how everything went. And she was like, okay, let's see how it goes. So after that, I think we would talk every day, sun up, sun down. We were just talking, 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 talking. Texting each other at work, coming home, talking. And then we had our first date. I think our first date was at the House of Blues. What? That was our first date, House of Blues. Okay, we're gonna back up. Okay. Now, this is what really happened. What happened? Now, from my POV with in the whole uh when I came over. Yes. Fellas. I pulled up. I'm trying to make sure, because I got sweats on. I'm trying to make sure that thing ain't showing. Cause you know. So I'm Sitting there, and I'm like, oh. I've one, I know this is the third house I've pulled up to, I think. <laughs> then, because they all look the same, shit. I know. I so I'm sitting there for a minute, she finally come out the door, and she got on them little windbreaker shorts. Okay. I was glad they was not, but I was glad they weren't tights, because y'all be with the tight shit. Yeah, I, I didn't want to do no hope, no... You ain't want to show that monkey play. I ain't want to be that girl. But anyway, so I'm sitting there and we talking. I'm like, yeah, because I have no intentions of doing anything. Yeah. Because that's just not my style. Like, I know the difference. I know the difference between I'm going to hit this and that'll be it. Or I'm going to have some kind of substance in this. And so he started talking. You keep inching close. And I'm like, I don't know why she coming over here because. This motherfucker, I got Swiss on this one. She keep getting closer. She all smell good and stuff, you know. And when I walk, when I, you fix my plate, everything you said was correct. But the hug, when I tried to pull away, you was here. Now, I don't know how you were here. And you like this to me, but <laughs> you were here. <laughs> it was just like, nigga, you gonna kiss me, nigga. So... I gave her that little kiss, but I said, okay, you came over here, so, I'm, so I put it on a little bit, and from my experiences through life, I have gotten rave reviews on my kissing, so after that, I left, that same night or the next day, she told me, come back, no, that night before I left, you told me, come back, I did. I did. You told me come back. And you so like, no, 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 no. That was like a for a day. I said, all right, I'll come back and spend the weekend or whatever. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if I'm being honest with myself, he could have got the draws that night. I mean, you could have. Is Cause I'm honest with myself. Ain't no who 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 gonna check me, boo? You could have. But you was a gentleman. I know, cause you know it took. I use. I took a little longer than normal. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a gentleman. Cause I'm usually like walk in, draws on the ceiling already. Yeah. <laughs> but so I decided to come back, and I've been here ever since. Just like that, that quick. That yeah. Yeah. Really but is. we did have, cause I have to, cause we went down no whole shit. Yeah. We did because I had no intentions, but we had such a great our date. We had a date before we had sex. We did. House of Blues. And it was a time. So yeah, we, we went to the House of Blues. Um 
I don't even remember how I, like, did I accept and as far as coming over on the weekend and didn't get the tickets. Okay. I can't even remember that story. So, he had said that when he got off of work, he had to go home, change clothes, because we was going to the House of Blues. And I was like, no, you could just come from work, come over. It's two, it's two showers in the house. You can come over and take a shower here. And we can leave from here and go to the House of Blues. Instead of him going all the way back home, because that would have been too much. On the, If we're being honest, that would have been a lot. Well, I was so used to it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you can come over Shoot. here, get ready, and then we can go to the House of Blues from there. So that's what we did. And I say, well, you can stay the weekend. I, no, I say bring some clothes for the weekend, too. So That's how it happened. That's how it happened. So he ended up, we ended up going to the House of Blues. We had an amazing time. I had never been. That was my first time going to the House of Blues. I had an amazing time. We laughed. We danced. We drank. We listened to good music. Came home. He spent the weekend. And then I had to go to work the next day. And he, I guess he was going to get ready to go. And I was like, you don't have to Because I think I got an extended. I think I had like a four or five day weekend. Yeah. And I was like, you don't have to go. Uh, you can stay here and i I get off in such and such. Yeah. So, he, uh, I gave him the key to the house. Y'all probably like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the, the key to the house. So, he was like, well, I'm going to go home and change clothes. I'm like, okay. I mean, I'll get some clothes or get something. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he was like, damn, I got the key for, I got the password to the Wi-Fi. So, I shot him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm an idiot, I'm a jerk, I'm an asshole, all rolled up in the- Where did we leave out? Uh, as I was saying, um, the only part of my body that my brain does not control this on my hook. So sometimes I do say stuff. And, uh, yeah. But. Okay, so he got the key to the house. And he was like, he was real adamant about not living with no woman until he was. I was on some until getting I'm married to her. Yeah, and I was like, okay. In my mind, I'm like, we get married. So what, what you mean? What you mean? My man, my man, my man. Like I took that serious. So from like the beginning to end, we decided that we was going. Okay, so he finally, I won't say gave in. I don't know what his factors was of finally breaking down and saying, okay, we can move in together. Oh. The fact of whether your baby daddies was alive or dead, how involved they was. Nah, for real though, because y'all be tripping. And, uh, like, what the deal would be on the baby daddy situation and the kids, how mattered they were, because I'm not finna do um, rebellious ass stepkids and then y'all look at me and say, hey, there was a man in the house. No, nah, we're not doing that. Um, basically, that was it because I feel like any woman with kids, you gotta your first priority is a stepfather. And me, I wanted to make sure that he, he was a good person all the way around, but I, his relationship with his own children. Just wanted to make sure that they was just not pits is what I rolled by. Yeah, like, I'm like some, I didn't want that some, old drive some, by day situation. Yeah. Like, I came to see my kid. Because I'll never go for a man <laughs> taking care of children, <laughs> of children that's not his, but taking care of children that are his. I'll never go, for, not taking care of children that are his. I'll never go for that. And I've I seen how he was with his children, number one. And then my children don't like no. I keep saying my children, and your children, when all together is our children. But at the Bruce time, that's how it was. Video, yeah, so. but at the time, that's how it was. But my children don't like nobody. They don't like nobody. My children had already said there wasn't no men coming up in this house. They didn't want to see. They didn't want to get to know nobody. They weren't trying to meet nobody. Period. They had. They were standing on business. And he came in. And the one child, which is still a rebellious child, he he get he's a handful, but for some reason he respects him. He give me hell. I'm not even say he give me hell, hell, but he give me hell. But the red warmed up to him immediately, and Audrey, I think Audrey was kind of skeptical. I mean, she's a one. She's a a young woman. 
Yeah. So you still have, uh, you still, I mean, and I'm not a small man. And then she still had that, that complex of, I don't need no daddy. I ain't looking for no daddy. Yeah, mixed with the mother ones. And uh, you got to remember, like, another nigga? Yeah. Another guy? Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, and it might be a long time and it might not matter to you. But then our kids, uh, you know. Yeah. So I understood that. But then she came in a... I knew she, I knew she was messing with him. When she started introducing him as her dad. You know. Because I think. I don't. I can't remember a time I've ever heard her introduce you as Ray. I mean. For the few. I mean. We don't have many instances or examples. So. But. I mean. A handful of times. Yeah, she's. She's uh, introduced him as her dad. I mean. Because. I mean. The first time. I think she was off. From Waterburg For like three days. And she came home, and I was here. Like, that was the one that started the hell out of me, too, because I was just like, she came home earlier than what she was supposed to, because I think she was staying with her former. Her, yeah. And her um, they were supposed to be gone, but I think she wound up getting it three days off in a row, and she came back. So she, I'm in the house watching TV, and she come in the door, and it's like... <laughs> You looking at me? It's my house. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. And we're the only ones in the house, so look, I'm telling you, I'm nervous as hell. It's, I'm just gonna be for real, for real. I'm not. I'm just that kind of man, though. I'm like, oh god. But uh, I think it was the she came down for a little bit after that, and we talked real quick. And I think we watched the movie. And then while I was watching the movie, she finished it basically, and then she. Disappeared, and then the next two days she was downstairs every day, and she's pretty much been attached to me since. Because what I tried to, what I've told him, and what I've tried to tell anybody is, every girl wants to be daddy's little girl, and she's coming from a place where she doesn't have a relationship with her biological father. And so when she, you have somebody that she can see treating her mom right, and he's treating her right too. So when she sees that she's gonna naturally latch on to him. But I think what shocked me was when she started calling him dad. Which like I said is always uh cause I have three other girls. And being a single father. He don't play by his daughter. But I don't get to see mine. All the time. I, not, I didn't. There were some instances that I won't mention that, you know, time was stolen for me. And I have a great relationship with them, but I still look at it when I'm around women and their kids because I don't want nobody saying, oh, he he raising their kids and he ain't raising mine. Well, that, them kids is in the house. So I'm always weary when somebody calls me dad. But I will say, um, even with baby girl, um, not the youngest baby, but the, the next Asia? One, yeah, yeah, Asia. I've watched when you, when she sees you, even as old as she is, because she's how old? Uh, she's 16. Her face lights up. I'll be 17. Her face lights up and she's a nerdy version of you. Yeah, that's my sidekick though, because I was, uh, I was at home with her. Her face lights yeah. up completely. And you can tell that she likes being a daddy's girl. Your sons respect you highly, though. I can kid ass. <laughs> no, not even just that. I've watched. Yeah, we I have a uh, we have a uh, uh, morally built male father son relationship, but I always showed them love. I, it was never time. There's never gonna be a time when my kids say. My daddy didn't never tell me I love him. I tell them I love you every time I speak to them. You know, whether it's on the phone or through text. Like, before we get off the phone, I always tell my boys I love them. I let them know that it's okay to have uh, 
male sensitivity amongst males, I guess. And that youngest boy, he looks up to you like yeah, that's crazy. My, that's my like, dream, I watched him, and he'll look at him, and he'll look for approval or something or something. But he, but he also tries to show you he's his own man, too, and he's responsible. Yeah. And he, he got it. But, you you know... Because I never want my kids to be like me. I want them to be like them. Yeah. And I, so I never wanted them to search for approval. I just want them to be the best version of them. And because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be by your side unless you do something. Yeah. Like super uh, crazy. Sorry. And I think that's um, another thing that made me love him is his how he is with his children. Yeah. Because like, if you're not good to your own children, you can definitely, you're definitely not going to be able to be good to mine. So yeah. I mean, I got stepkids and yeah. still, and 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 nieces and nephews that are not related to me that still call and check on me. I still call and check on them, but I love kids. I, I love them. So now we are a family of eight. Yes, I have three. He has five. Those are we are a family of eight. So. Five. That number just sounds so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so move. So fast forward. Now we're we've moved in with each other. We've settled in with each other. Yes, we had those conversations about financing, about child rearing, about. Um, I think that was another. I think that was another reason. That might be like the, the push over the 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 reason that okay because I was very. Like, I mean, yeah. oh, you, 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 you little ugly mother, you yeah. I was Because okay. people people assume because we moved in so quickly with each other, oh, he just need a roof over his head. Oh, he did. No, this man makes, makes way more money than me. I was, when I met you, I was uh, coming off my hard times from COVID. Yeah. But even before that, I was fully self-sufficient male. Yeah. So when I hit that low for COVID, by the time I had met you, I was already. He definitely didn't need no one to take care of him. And then I had got three raises within that few months that I had met you or two, and then another one later on. But uh, so I, it was like people's perception was of that, and yeah. then we even had the friends of why does she always get a man so fast? Why do me and I always want to marry her? What makes her so special that somebody wants to marry her so quickly? Then we had the boredom thing on both sides. Because I'm me. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just want to put that. Because I'm me. I don't do what y'all do. Okay. I don't act the way y'all act. I don't say the things y'all say. And I don't do the things y'all don't y'all do. And I don't be where y'all go. I'm me. Okay. That's why. So we can get that understood. So you ain't never got to ask that question. Because I get offended when it. Because I'm me. That's not my problem. You can't get no man. Don't nobody want to marry you. Get your life. Okay. It's your show, so I'm going to let you do the chest pound. I had to get that out of my head, Jeez. babe. I had to let you do the chest pound. I tried to avoid it, though, but like I was saying, <laughs> we had the boredom statements for both sides. Yes, because we are known to get bored yeah, rather cause, quickly, and my girl... Because I move around. Shout out to my girl, Erica. She's like, are you sure, Keisha? Because you know you get oh, and bored. Oh, and then you got rid of all your 304. Oh, I got... When I, and that's what she said. She's I'm like... practicing my etiquette. She said, I know he different. She said, because you talk about him different. She said, I say, Erica, I got rid of all my my my, my, my sidelines. She said, my like 304s. My 304s. She said, you got rid of all your 304s? I said, girl, I got rid of all my 304s. She said, oh, yeah, you like him. I kept mine until the day I said, uh, why you get close? Oh. <laughs> 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 wait, oh, to be finished. Okay. Yeah, like wait, you <laughs> moved a little close. Uh, no, I got rid of mine when uh, that weekend, like the whole kind of build up thing, because I didn't know I was never leaving again when I made when I said okay to the weekend. I didn't know where we was going, because truthfully, like you was how you had like you had a strike against you. Yeah. Because when I pulled up, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> she in this area? Yeah. Oh, so. Sunny side I didn't know. That's why it, it took me a few days longer than you. And he knew. I was, and I think he kind of knew that I wasn't, this wasn't that, and that wasn't this. Because even my girls, well. I, 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 it, it, the reason I knew. Because my girl well, said, oh, you let him, you, you, you let him come to your house? 
Because my girls knew I don't let nobody come to my house. And they told house. me this. A few of them told me this. I do not times. let nobody come to my house. Like, it ain't that type of party. You're not coming into my space. And number two, they already, I had, I had stopped hanging out. I wasn't doing, like, they was like, we can't get her to go nowhere. Like, I was well, already I in the house. But I want to make sure you wasn't no setup uh, chick. Yeah. So. Trying to set you up? Yeah, you might, you know, I mean, I tell people I ain't got it, but I usually keep it. I just. <laughs> so, I think months in, we we had decided, okay, we're going we gonna to live together. We're going to see how this go. Um, our plan was, okay, two years. We give it two years. Because I both, I think both things think for us was we both want to be married within two years. So, it wasn't even about no intentionally dating no more because he had already said he wanted to intentionally date me and like pursue a relationship with me. But at that point, we had decided that we had was gonna skip that step anyway and just be together. But I think in it between that, more, we were still dating because we were still. I think we we still date. We I think it was because. Time. I mean, look. If not to speak things. Look, if we gonna go five years total, yeah. say if I'm gonna go five years total, yeah. I might as well just be five years like this. Yeah. And then, cause like, okay. And then it was like, after we moved in together, I was like, okay, I know I wanna marry this man. I know I wanna marry this man. I wanna be married to this man. But I think what stopped me in my tracks, cause I was, I, I don't know, something came over me and I was just speaking about marriage all the time. Like every five minutes, I was talking about marrying this man. Cause I just want to marry this man. See, and one I'm day he, cause I'm, I'm and one day he said it. something about um, what make what 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 is it about you that you think makes me want to marry you that would make you a good wife? And he didn't say it in a mean way. He didn't say it in a malice way. He said it of okay, I understand you want to get married, but what is it about you? That would make me want to walk down the aisle, which is what any man should ask when it comes to picking a wife. I need to know where you're at in that moment. Yeah. I'm in, like, and it in can't be that moment. answer of, because I'm me. Oh, no, because I can throw a rock in any direction and go get somebody that says I'm me. And you got to think about it. This was his first marriage. This was my third marriage. So, I understood where he was coming from to the point that I had to sit back and like, what is it about me that would make this man want to marry me? And I, I think I was looking for the answer. As long as it was different and educated, I was fine. But if you was going to give me that same... Um, now, keep in mind, you are you a content creator. Yeah. So I have to see where your head is. Are you stuck up in the cloud of fakey fake land? Yeah. Or are you in reality? Because if you're in fakey fake land, then you that means you them women that make these... In them clips and stuff that they need a man that's six foot... Da, da 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 and all this and I'm just like really to tell you the truth I don't find money that appealing I feel like yeah. it's an inanimate object that we give too much power to so if yo if that's your God because that's what that is they don't want to admit it but if that's your God good and then I think I came to the realization that it was more than just wanting to be his wife or having a title of being his wife that's because another thing. within being a wife there are so many other things that go into that. Like, I'm more than just his wife. I'm his secret holder. I'm his prayer warrior. I'm the person he vent to. I'm his teammate. I am. She my sneaky link. I'm everything. She my side chick. Everything. Have you seen all these wigs? Look. <laughs> she my 304. <laughs> she my SLUT. I don't know no slang for that. Uh, whatever that is. I am everything she my, he needs me to be. She my pro. Yep. She my pole down. Yep. She, she my stripper. Yep. I'm just getting it out there because, you know, a lot of people had. Because I know. We don't go through each other's phone or look through mm -hmm. each other's DMs, but I know you got some DMs that say X, Y, Z, but, yeah. and by ABCs, I just want to let y'all know, and speaking of that, because I know a couple of y'all, when she tagged me in some of these, are going to be looking, I want to thank y'all for y'all small hands like Thurman Thomas for fumbling them bags, because you fumble. See, you thought the bag was money, and you fumble. This woman gets taken care of. Well. And, so. Very well. I, I just want to thank y'all because Very well. you probably would have made me a worse Man, because with your, <laughs> your antics, probably would have made, and I'm, I'm not no angel. The people at my job say how spoiled I am. But I am I'm spoiled. letting you know, I want to appreciate you because you made my life better. But don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm spoiled, but I spoiled But I'm spoiled, baby. too. 
<laughs> this this ain't no one sided type of thing. No, no. We we pour into each other. We get we give we give. To I each just other. trick bigger because I can't. Yeah, that's all that is. I so am. He's tricking I totally lying. different than my trick. <laughs> yeah, so, but it's good. But I think after a while, um, I don't know. We just I think I think I I. I knew I wasn't going nowhere, and I think maybe he came to, through the realization that he wasn't going nowhere. I was in my full reform though, like, cause I was, I was tired, and you know this era has ushered itself in, and I don't belong there. Yeah. Like I don't belong in the all uh, ninjas ain't X Y Z. I don't belong in that conversation mm -hmm. because I'm just looking, and I don't even get upset at it. It frustrates me when they do super dumb stuff. But I don't look at it because I know y'all ain't talking to me. But I was at that point, like, I look, I'm already past looking at a woman and thinking sexually all the time. Yeah. You know, so, and I'm a rare and I'm a had them. I'm a had, like, I got a pretty good report card. Yeah. And it's like, so I'm way past just your physical. I want to know, I've been with physical. Yeah. But they didn't provide a safe place. They wasn't able to... It was beyond looks and, and, and sex because we both had our experiences. I've had the doctors. And I've had the easy. entrepreneurs. I've had the... He's had... You naked. You naked. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you, you, I've had my... You naked. More, I've had more than the average man. Yeah. yeah, yeah I ain't you, gonna lie. You naked, sir. It's easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, we both decided that we were going to be committed to each other and get married. And that's what we did. And I was just like, mm -hmm. yeah. But I will say this. Marriage has not changed us. No. I, uh, that to, uh, Can I be honest? The marriage, to me, the aspect of doing it was the paperwork. In yep. a sense. Because I don't want nobody to ever come in and say that I don't have no say so when it comes to the well being of this man. I think that's I think that was the only thing. Like if something happened. Yeah. I think that's the only thing. But Because I've called this man my husband since we've been together. He's introduced me as his wife since we've been together. So And that's because I feel strongly about people getting in relationships and don't have any intentions. That when I sit up there and say I'm dating with intentions, I have intentions of completing this transaction. Yeah. You know, like... Because we were very serious about the understanding of... And that was another reason we didn't do a, a big wedding. Because when it's all said and done, there's only three people in this marriage. Me, him, God. That's it. I don't have to answer to nobody but him and God. That's it. That's it. Like, nobody else matters in this equation. And it's like, once you get married, you've already decided that you're in love with each other. You want to spend the rest of your life with each other. What's next? Now it's time to build. Now it's time to, we've already set the foundation. So let's build on that foundation. Let's prosper together. Let's grow together. Let's, let's, do, every, let's do what we need to do together. Then too, I'm everywhere with this man. There, I, we go to work together. We, we wake up together. We sleep together. I'm never without this man. Well, I was, I did it the other way around. I was with people and still going to hang with the homeboys and all that. And I love my partners and everything, but at the same time, I got responsibilities that are not like when you're single. Mm -hmm. So me going over your house and going back and hanging, I got to drive 35, 45 minutes. But at the same time, um, even though I have the money, is it sensible? Because we still got to, I still got to worry about gas within the week. Yeah. And when I'm on my tight budget, and it's like, that's not in my budget now. I creep through there every now and then, but I'm not staying because I know me. I attract women. So. Yeah, he do. I'm not finna. These women, y'all, yeah, let me take, some of y'all is very disrespectful. Cause thank oh, yeah, dude. It took me a lot. And he didn't some of y'all disrespect me. And I'm in a season season of not choosing choosing violence. Cause the old me would have already went in on some of y'all because some of y'all are 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 out out in the open disrespectful. Stopping at tables. Disrespectful. 
stepping in front of my man being, a, being an over respect, disrespectful. Touching him disrespectful. Don't touch him. That's my Nemo. Don't touch Nemo. Okay. Had to smell a lot of mercury, mercury water and dodged a lot of sharks and it was a bunch of jellyfish and stingrays and hammerheads and beluga whales that I had to dodge to get to Nemo. Beluga whales to get to Nemo. Don't play with my Nemo, please. Oh, can I say one thing though about mm -hmm. that? As far as my reaction and interaction with these women, most of them, there has n never been none. Anybody who has touched me, I have responded appropriately. I don't want y'all to think that I'm... And he tells me everything. Yeah. Everything. 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 It's not nothing I don't know. E everything. Okay? Just in case you think you're trying to be cute, I already know, sis. Oh, so yeah. That is how we met. And the long version. Yeah, that is the long version. Y'all got the we didn't have, version. But then we didn't have much. It wasn't much to it, but the extra like thinking your own POV, my POV, yeah. and things like that. So and I've been dating my best friend ever since. Like that's my ex, Kung Boom. Yep, and I've been stuck in purgatory for two years. Yep. And I just went to. It's, it's cool. Though. <laughs> that's cool. So. Yeah, we're going to answer these questions, so that's going to, that's, I'm going to cut this video off. And you say you got 25, I might give you 10, like, come on, okay, come good. on with it. Just okay, so we're going to cut this video off. Y'all, <laughs> thank you for watching. Y'all wanted to know how we got together. Y'all see, we done told y'all the story. Um, so we answering these questions in private or something? No, we can answer the question now, but I'm going to close this video out. Oh, okay. So, thank you for watching. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun, plan to get all out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Anything you want to say, babe? Be All somebody. Right. Be somebody. Bye. Be somebody.